we all came from heaven. But the other thing is this. When you go there, you're greeted. You are loved by everybody. People welcome you. The Father has a welcome home event. When you come home, you get to come to the throne room and meet him. And he'll talk to you about all your life and how much you've blessed him with it. And that you've loved your people well, your family well. He doesn't forget those things. And your pets will be there to greet you. Please remember your pets go to heaven. And remember, as I have told you many times, they will be talking to you. And they'll be filling you in on everything that's happened in heaven while you were on the earth. And they were still thinking about you. This is one of the cutest things, I think. God gives them their own door to go into your mansion when you come home. You have regular doors. They have their own pet door. No one's going to run away, get hurt, or lost. And I just tell you right now, they're having the time of their life up there. And by the way, so is your family. They love you even more than they did when they were on this earth. If you just recently had someone move home to heaven, then celebrate with them. And remember, they're watching over you. They're cheering you on. They know God has plans for you. So don't give up. Don't let these days put fear in you. Cast all fear out. Let love grow in your heart. For God himself and for others around you. They may be upset. Give them some truth that will help them. There is a God. He loves you. He does have plans and you're about to see his plans happen in this world. Remember to trust him. Remember to care about each other. And if you're having issues, remember the scripture. It is written, cast all your cares upon Christ because he cares for you. So in these days ahead, You'll have great reports to give. You'll be able to write things that people will read for generations to come. But how God stirred everything, stirred the hearts of people. Many people, many people, there's going to be so many salvations coming in these days ahead. And the miraculous like you've never seen before. So we want to encourage you. Some people don't want to believe, but you know what? I choose to believe. Yes, I know I've seen God. I've seen Jesus. I've seen even Holy Spirit the outline of his being, and you can go on our, our website and see some of the other images that we have on there. But we want you to know that we really care about you, and we are so eternally grateful for those who are guardians with us, our regular givers. We couldn't do this without your help, too. We love you. We're asking God to give a special blessing this year for some of the things that will begin to happen, that he blesses your wealth and your money and your expenses to be taken care of in ways you never expected. New inventions coming, people, that will help with our energy, with our food, with many other things in this earth that God's not going to allow to remain damaged, or you either. So, God, we also release the life of God, the love of God, the anointing that destroys every yoke of darkness to everyone listening, let it flow into their body, begin working, On their behalf, for wholeness, wellness, strength, and energy, in Jesus' holy name, we declare it to be so. May the host go with you, and we will talk to you later. That's right. Love you all.